We have two big heavyweights featured at UFC Fight Night. Gon versus Volkov. Let's break it down. Cyril Gon's 31 years old. He's 6'5 with an 81-inch reach and a record of 8-0 with three submissions and three knockouts. From La roche sur in France, Gon got into martial arts in his early 20s, making his professional kickboxing debut in 2016, winning the AFMT heavyweight title with his second-round knockout of Jeremy Jean. He defended his title six times, winning four by knockout before switching to MMA in 2018, winning his debut fight with a first-round choke of Bobby Sullivan for the Canadian promotion TKO's vacant heavyweight title. He defended it twice with a second-round knockout of Adam Dykscha and a first-round TKO of Roger Sousa. In August of 2019, he made his UFC debut with a first-round triangle choke of Rafael Pessoa and two months later submitted Dante Mays with a heel hook. He closed out 2019 with a dominant unanimous decision over Tanner Bozer. However, he did not fight again for a year as three scheduled fights all fell through due to his opponents and himself being injured in training. He returned in December of 2020, taking on UFC legend Junior Dos Santos, and despite the disparity in experience, he put on a great performance, forcing Dos Santos against the cage, dropping him with an elbow, and stopping him with ground and pound. Two months later, he took on number three contender Jerzinho Rosenstroik, controlling the distance with his jab and leg kicks and dominating all of the grappling exchanges to win a lopsided unanimous decision. A fantastic natural athlete, Gon is a proficient technical striker who excels at controlling distance and pace and has also come a long way in adapting to the grappling side of the sport as evidenced by his three submissions in his eight victories. Alexander Volkov is 32 years old. He's 6'7 with an 80-inch reach and a record of 33-8 with 22 knockouts and three submissions. From Moscow, Russia, he made his professional debut in 2009 with an 82nd knockout of Nikolai Pleshakov. After going 14-3 and with 13 stoppages, he had, had his first major test when he defeated former UFC champion Rico Rodriguez by decision. In 2012, he won the Bellator Heavyweight Championship with a decision over Richard Hale, but in his next fight, lost that belt via first-round knockout to Vitaly Minakov. He bounced back with a five-fight winning streak, including knockouts of Mark Collada and Mighty Mo, but then dropped two straight decisions to Tony Johnson and Czech Congo. He made his UFC debut in 2016, defeating Tim Johnson by decision, and over the next year, followed that up with a decision over Roy Nelson and brutal knockouts over contender Steven Stroive and former UFC champion Fabrizio Verdum. On October 6, 2018, he took on powerhouse Derek Lewis, putting on a master class and hurting Lewis multiple times when leading on all three judges' scorecards, he was knocked out with a thunderous right cross with only 11 seconds remaining in the fight. After beating Greg Hardy, Volkov dropped a lopsided decision to Curtis Blades, getting out-wrestled and taken down a record 14 times throughout, exposing a major hole in his game. He did come back just four months later and in the second landed a vicious kick to the midsection of Wal Harris, dropping him instantly and finishing him off with a barrage of punches. On February 6, 2021, he took on veteran Alistair Overeem, dominating the first round, and then blasting out Overeem with a devastating left hook in the second. Perhaps the most polished technical striker in the division, Volkov is patient and measured in his approach, controlling the distance and rarely loading up, preferring to overwhelm his opponents with volume, landing 5.3 strikes per minute while absorbing only two. Will this be another easy victory and the meteoric rise of Cyril Gaon as he takes one step closer to challenging his former sparring partner Francis Ngannou for gold? Or will the height, power, and experience of Volkov prove to be too much as Drago continues to demonstrate that he still belongs at the top of the heavyweight division? Tune in tonight to UFC, Gaon versus Volkov, and let's find out.